welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 1st of May 2018 and it's Tuesday again so it's time for news. So first of all we go to Scotland to the Isle of Isla. There's another person who is trying to build a distillery on Isla. This time it's the Elixir Distillers. They're known for the elements of Isla and the Port Escape whiskey and now they have uh, handed in their forms to build a distillery on the south coast. They want to build it near Port Ellen, right just on the road to Lafroig, Lagavulin and Ardbeck. They will be the 10th active distillery on Isla, but as we know from the past, there have been many people who try to build a distillery on Isla, had many plans, but only few succeeded. But we hope them the best, and if there are new news, then we will report them here on our vlog. Yeah, next thing is the Eden Mill Distillery, because they just released their first single malt, and they have the Hip Flask series with seven bottles in 0.2 liter bottles with 47% ABV. Uh, they're made from different malts and stored in different casks, and there are only 3,800 bottles on the market. And unfortunately, it's uh, I think only in the UK, and it costs around 25 pounds. In Germany, we don't get a bottle, so I will probably not have them on the vlog here. Yeah, that's it for the news in Scotland. And now we look over the pond to the Americans. There's another famous person, another celebrity doing whiskey. And he want, uh, Bob Dylan wants to bring out his whiskey, his own whiskey. And he wants to bring it out in May. And there should be following uh, bottlings in 2019. Yeah, he's known as being a singer and a songwriter. You probably do know him because he's really famous. And what he does is he wants to bring him out under the name Heaven's Door. And he actually has already picked uh, three uh, different styles. He wants to bring out a straight rye, then a Tennessee bourbon, whatever this is, and a double barrel. Yeah, so it's about, going to be about 50 to $80 and I'm going to be a bit skeptical here because maybe he's on the level of hate club, but hopefully he's a bit more on the premium level. We never know, but let's have a look when the bottle finds our way to our town. Yeah, and the last one is a very happy news. The Buffalo Trace Distillery is very successful because they just filled their 7 millionth barrel. That's just... just grasp map 7 million barrels. They are building 30 new warehouses. They just finished their AA warehouse and it's mm, it has a capacity of 68,800 barrels and it's nearly filled to the top already. So they are producing very very massively and they're experimenting greatly with um, different styles of whiskey and different maturation methods. If you want to know more about that, I've uh, done a great video about the, the whole distillery and their maturation methods and I had a good interview with their quality manager. So if you're interested in that, please check out the video about the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.